We got to say hi to Tawny uh, Peaks real fast. She's That's right. Hello. Tawny. Hey, good morning. You're, you're talking to Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton, and Stephen Pearson yeah, from Rat. Nope, the Hello. former Rat. Former, former Rat, rat dude. vocalist dude. What's up, Tawny? Oh, not much. Just getting up, getting motivated for the day. Oh, just wakey wakey. Well, actually, I've been up for probably about 45 minutes trying to get some stuff done around the house, but. Okay, and. Are, where are you? Are you in New York, or as I call it, the Big Apple? No, actually, I'm in Detroit. Ooh, Detroit. What does a porn star do in the morning when she wakes up? <laughs> Not a porn star, number one. Oh, uh, Opie. Told you, Opie. Not what? a porn star. <laughs> can, you please, with me. can you please clarify with for Opie, please? Well, yes. What have you been saying it all morning? What are you? Um, actually, I'm a, a mom and housewife now. Yeah, a mom and housewife, Tawny Peaks. Oh. Not a porn Thank star, you. Tawny no, Peaks. No, uh, back in the Opie. day, I had to cover Playboy Blumptious Fix in 98. Oh, nice. um, oh, you never did porn? No, um, I never did hardcore porn. No, I did not. No. I did do um, pictures for magazines. Right. But well, a lot of people... Photos. I'm sure it's Vixen videos. All, wouldn't that be um, uh, considered... R-rated. Wouldn't that be considered porn, though, or no? Um, I guess, in a sense, yes, but in a sense, no, because when you think porn, you think hardcore. Yeah, there were a few videos with you in them, though, right? But, yeah, like for instance, Vixens, I mean, it's R-rated. You see that kind of stuff on HBO. Yeah, so it's like a soft core, they call it. Exactly. And it was a lot of girl on girl? No, actually. No? It was mostly myself. <laughs> Just yourself? Just doing painting, doing stupid things. I really didn't get into the video part of it. Painting? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. So we shouldn't call you a slut, obviously. No, you should not. No. Yeah, I know. Of course so not. A lot of people confuse like what soft core is with um, hardcore. There's definitely that distinction because some people will make it. Yeah, there is a major distinction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, get some coffee in your ass. Like you didn't show uh you didn't show the pink, right? Pink. In like right. pink? It's a song no. off social Can intercourse. You guys get over it already? Yeah, get I over get it. Under it. I, I you know, I try so hard to keep this show on uh the right track, Tony. And Thank I got people like Opie and Jimmy, uh, <laughs> Steve, everybody just uh, well, making problems for me when I'm trying to conduct an interview. That's true. Pete. We don't have you on the phone to talk politics. Let's be honest with each other. No, I thought you wanted to know what was going on with eBay. I guess. No. What, yeah, definitely. You did sell your implants on eBay, right? Yes, I did. And a lot of people said that, wow, that's kind of an odd decision to make. I mean, do you feel that those people have some kind of like, you know, what? Yeah, I agree. What the hell are you? Um, what are you going to do with this? It was an odd decision to make. You're absolutely correct. The yeah. way it went down was um, <clears throat> my husband and I were watching Jay Leno on a Friday night, and uh, he had some odd things sold on eBay. Mm -hmm. Well, needless to say, the next day I was cleaning up some cupboards because we moved in the past couple of years, and I came over across with a box of implants in it, and well, my husband, I, I brought it up to his attention yeah, okay. in the office, and like, look, ah. what I found. Wow. So, well, he was like, I thought he thought he tossed those when we moved, and I said, I thought he did too. And then uh, we started remembering about what was on eBay the night, or what was on the the night before, and I said, do you want to put them on there? And uh, he said, wow. no, we're going to buy them. I said, oh, yeah, well, we'll put a high reserve on it, and if they do, we'll take the kids away for the weekend. Flatulent. If they don't, we'll just toss them. Awesome. So that's how it happened. Listen, so huh. so wow. you, you sold a part of your body, uh, technically. No, it wasn't a part of my body. It was in your body for a long time, and it, it made you some good money. I, I would think uh, selling your implants would be... Sick. Dare I say a slutty thing? <laughs> kind of. Will you guys get over the slutty thing, or I will hang up the phone? Yeah, don't please do. No, no, don't no. hang up the phone because it's the, Tony, the I, I'm, I'm sorry. My question was: eBay has a thing about selling like body parts and stuff like that. Was there a problem with that because uh, they said that that was a body part or no? Because eBay does have a weird thing about you can't sell like bones or any, right. anything like that. Right. Well, actually, um, the implant, in order for me to take it out of the hospital, had to be sterilized. I mean, yeah. they reuse tools. They're sterilized all the time. So yeah. it was completely, it was fine. Uh -huh. How big uh, yeah. did the implants make your tits? Mammaries. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. How big do the implants make your tits? The mammaries. Um, the mammal. They just, they basically enhanced them after I had my son because they drooped. So I had the implants put in to oh. um, pop them back up again. It wasn't really to make them much bigger. It was just to... So when did you stop doing any type of uh, uh, nude modeling? Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven was the last time, and then you stopped because of uh, your your child. No, no, no. I stopped no? because I wanted to get out of that industry. So yeah, oh. so ninety-seven, you stop um, you stop selling your body. 
Um, actually, I for money, you know. So at ninety-seven, you decide to li- live the clean life that's and, and stop to, being a slut. Exactly. That's not the way to put it. Or anything, <laughs> so since ninety-seven, you haven't been uh, too whorish. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I. Enough. Um, hello. <laughs> I knew she'd hang up. Boy, get a <laughs> cup of coffee in you first before you call. <laughs> I knew she was hanging up. There was no way. I couldn't be good enough good cop, and that's no. keep her on the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> my memories, my best. Uh, uh. Oh, who, who is she kidding? And and soon as someone says on this show, don't do that, or oh, I'm gonna hang up. I yeah, know. oh boy, oh you yeah, got I'm you ever hear you ever ruin your show and hang up on you because me and my memories. Do we have nah. the, Do we have the Tommy Lee phone call? We got to play that for Stephen uh, Piercy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have Very that right. Tommy, now. is it short? He's my gladiator buddy from back, way back then. We well, had a street gang called the Gladiators. Back in 1980, really? When we first hooked up. Yeah, me Jimmy was Vince. in the Lords. Yeah, I guess oh, yeah. The Lords. Me, me, Vince, and uh, <laughs> Nikki. Nikki was Leader Six. Robin was King Crosby. Vince wow. was Mar- Field Marshal. I was Rat Leader, and uh, it was a good thing. We he was Jimmy around. Robinson. Yeah. Right on, I wore know. a cape, and Helen helped me. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Why don't we take a break? They're going to find the Tommy Lee. There we go. All righty. But, um, what are we going to talk to Tawny Peaks about? What did she want to talk about? That she her, sold her implants. And that she's trying to wake up. For, I'm like, uh, who cares that she sold her implants? I forgot the amount, but it was some kind well, of... They, and I did it because my sagging was sagging. Bl- yeah. Great. Uh, my son sagging to... Uh, <laughs> do I take off I'm gonna hang eBay? <laughs> if you say that, I'm going to hang up. It's like well, Right when she said that to Opie, I'm like, well, she's hanging up. Oh, well. There ain't no way he's going to let up. Oh, like, Opie's going to go, oh, okay, then yeah. I won't say it I'm again. sorry, because this, this is our big exclusive interview with Tawny Peaks. Don't want yeah, to yeah. blow the big interview opportunity. There you go. Steve, did, yes. we, did we ruin your... Uh, <laughs> what? Did we ruin it for you by ruin hanging your up? contact over there right. at the Tawny Peaks camp? I didn't book that. Uh, no, who booked that? Nothing to do with that. Who yeah, booked that? He had nothing to do with that. Who booked that? Who booked that? Who do you think? The booker? Yeah. Uh-oh, now oh, we're in boy. trouble. The booker, the baker, the candlestick maker? Oh, now we are in trouble. Wow, we couldn't get the Sly Stallone interview, but we got the Tawny Peaks interview. That's all right. And Tawny. I woke up, my son, their tits <laughs> sagging. I was, I hang up. Sold them on eBay. Goodbye. Great. How much? Did she... She was, huh? she was not, oh, I just woke up. I'm My sagging son tits, <laughs> I was. <laughs> Hello, hey, Enough. goodbye. <laughs> Enough uh, out of you. That I'm going to hang up because I'm special. You call the show and go, don't say that or I'm going to hang up. Then what, what do you expect from us? Well, you, yeah, can't, call yeah, us, you, you can't call us out on that stuff. Yeah, you, you know the form you're going to be going to. Tawny Peaks. Tawny Peaks. She did peak. want to thank her for... Uh, Calling the program, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> called her a whore. She didn't like it. She was going to hang up on you if you didn't treat her with respect. Well, she's known for one thing. What do you, I mean, what do you, what do you want from I'm us? not a porn star. Uh, yeah. Really? You're an opportunist, though. You noticed you had your implants in the clo- in the closet, in the uh, attic, and you know <laughs> had no problem getting it on eBay as soon as possible. Yep. What'd she do? Take them out and then sold them? So now her tits are all flat and weird, wrinkly and floppy. Yeah, you would have to think they would be a little off if you take implants out. Well, I mean, she get, she, there's, no, and there's no middle to the story. It's like, yeah. I had to fake that. I sold them, yeah. and that's it. Well, I have questions. Maybe she had a medical Did problem. Did you have other ones put in? Are I, they just weird and flat and like fucking pancakes? So I had eggs, questions, or? too, but apparently Opie didn't want uh, anyone right, well, asking. Oh, okay, next. Get her, get her back on the phone. We oh, have more please, questions no. for Tawny. <laughs> All right, Ben's getting her back on the phone. Boss wants her. Oh, jeez. We have Tawny Peaks back on the phone. <laughs> oh, God. Tawny. Hello. What, hey, was, what was the problem? First. Well, you guys, I'm not in the business anymore. I, I understand. Uh, right. Secondly, I'm not here to plug anything for myself. Uh-huh. I was just doing a favor because I was asked to do it. Cool. I'll give you guys a call. So I, I understand. On eBay. Ronnie, well, I would like to apologize on behalf of the uh, the program. Uh, uh, I, I, as I said before, I try to keep things reined in, and there are people here that just won't. Don't you're calling in as a fa- you're calling in as a favor. Yes, she is, and it was really good. Yeah, How much did you get for the implants favor. on eBay? Uh, it was like sixteen seven. Having wow. having like Sylvester Stallone call in as a favor. He might be doing that, and and we're right, we're we're gunning right. for that though. Why is Tawny? Peaks calling Tawny. us a favor. That's, she's very nice right about it. I appreciate people asking me to call in. It was nice. Right. A favor. I was doing it because I was going to tell would... you guys about the Golden Palace Casino. And oh, that, that makes us sound quite desperate that you would be the one calling in as a favor. That isn't a, Not yes. as a favor to you. That's right. 
It's not for I you. I was doing it as a favor. Not the you. Casino. I was getting their name out there because they were quite generous. Who well, right. gets the favor? Wait, so Golden Casino. Golden Palace. Casino, Golden Palace yes. Casino kind of hooked you up and said, look, we'd like you to call in, give a few mentions, talk to the guys. Yeah. Yeah, they actually, they said this, that you guys would like to talk with me. They asked if I would do it. I said, sure, I they, would do it. They bought your influence. Them what a great company they are and how they actually oh, yeah. um, yeah. asked me if I was going to yeah. donate some of the right. money. And I said, yes, I am. And I found <laughs> out from some reason they donate money to the Yeah. They, they bought your implants? When did they stop? They bought your implants? They did, sorry? I think. Did you get new ones? No, I don't have anything. They're no. all flat now? Is that a medical problem when they're taken out, Tawny? No, What's actually, that? I had a breast reduction. Oh, you did? So they're not saggy and flat? No. They're not pancake no, not eggs? No. I, Tawny, I dated a girl one time who had implants, and they actually, she had them on the outside of the muscle, which caused a problem for her. Do you, like, with certain implants, because of, of like, the way they're put in? Um... I never really had any problems, no. It's a metal to play. I was very fortunate right. I didn't have them in that long. Oh. got to remember, I was only in business from 94 to 97. Are what? you going back into porn? Definitely not. So no. shucks. Did you have a bad experience in the business? I never belonged there in the first place, to be honest Why? With you. Why is that? How did that wasn't, happen? It wasn't in me. Cause she didn't yeah, it was. Because hundreds of times. <laughs> yeah, right. Because she didn't want to take one in the poop chute. Ooh, the back, no. the back no. side. It's really a nice place to be. All right, guys. Well, it was nice talking to you. Wah. Wah. Wait, wait. Stephen Piercy from uh, Rat Fame. He's Rat not in the band Aspen. anymore. Um, he had a question for you. Take well, I think it was answered the other way. Yeah. Go ahead. I think you did answer it, right? About the, you, he wanted to know if you still the implants, but you said no. Oh, that was it, Stephen? Yeah, I mean, if they were just like a flat, because you know how they... Yeah, you know, like soiled eggs, kind of gig. But pancakes. they're not. She yeah. said that they uh, they take care of that. Oh, that's she she had a reduction. Yeah, they take care of that. And Tawny, what do you do now? I am a housewife and a mom. I have oh. beautiful children. I have a great life. Life is good. I gave up the business when I was actually on the top with the, my Playboy cover coming out, and I could have made a whole bunch more money, but I was blessed because I stopped when I did. Yeah. <laughs> how many uh, How many cops do you have? How many kids? Three. <laughs> I know, you guys wish I was more exciting, but I'm sorry I'm not. Oh, God. I, I can't no. do that. No, you're all right. We're, we're, we're taking a look at uh, some nude pictures of you. You look very nice. Yeah, yeah, let me back see. in the day. Or used to, obviously. This is probably a, quite a long time ago now. Do you yeah, still, uh, do you run a, a wow. website? Holy no, I don't. Fuck me. Hard. Damn. You got fucked. Wow. All right. So how? Well, you guys have a great day. I can hear what's going on there. Uh, yeah, see. But but the pictures. How how is this website able to run with your name? Beautiful. Because I see Tawny. Ooh, that's good acting. I see it's a when website. Me. When um, when me. When me. When me. Uh, I. When I did my photo shoots, I had to sign rights off to the photographer, and that's why everything's done in my name. I have nothing to do with it. You don't get paid oh. from these? Absolutely not. No nothing. residuals? Wow. Nothing. They can put your nude pictures up there, and you don't get anything from That's them. what happens when you're young and stupid, guys. Uh, I'm sure you've all experienced no. something like that. No. Yeah, you sign. They're all, no, all these pictures never. are on eatabullet.com. People are just go in there and check them out. Sorry? There's a website called eatabullet.com. Yeah. And it's like all these oh, new pictures. I have no idea. It's also at uh, Stephen uh, slash uh, Stephen dash Piercy dot com. Yeah, so your that. pictures are all over that. Everywhere. You sign them away though, right? You sign away the rights, you don't get any cash. I'm gonna exactly. sell my. Wow. I'm gonna sell my I got cash. I got paid for the pictures when I did them. Signed them off. If I would know any better. Is that why you quit the business? Because uh, you didn't like the. Uh, you didn't like the business. What did you? Exactly. You didn't what, lick what? the business. So you, no, not really. What made I, you get into it in the first place if you said you didn't belong in it? You guys really don't want to hear that story. I kind of no, do. Don't. That's, that's, what, that's what I want to hear, is how you got into that business. Because I was a very insecure woman, or I should say young girl. Who how old were you when you got in? Uh, 21. Okay. 21. You're 21. You're insecure about yourself? And you Yes, were, I had a, a child who had a disability, and I was basically... 
told is that's a good I excuse. shared it all about oh, Jesus. by Jesus. Yeah. Wait, wait. It's, like I said, it's a long story. It's not yeah. something you really want to hear. No, it's kind of that. But that's wait, but that's the interesting part. This is interesting. The child, the child. No, your, your child. You were trying to take care of your child. What was what was the matter? Um, he had to have open heart surgery and he has Down syndrome. <laughs> That is not funny. No, it's, <laughs> That's it's, terrific. That's that. terrific. Excuse me? I don't know. Somebody is uh, hitting buttons Hello? here that they Zach, probably shouldn't Zach. play. Tawny, so you're insecure. What was that? So you're insecure, and you have. Yeah, I was I was an insecure woman at, or a young girl at the time, and I was led into something I didn't want to be in. By somebody that was like domineering, or uh, somebody that that uh, was. Yes, actually, and then I finally came into my own, and when I came into my own, I said, this is not for me. Do you still have contact? And then I cut with, all ties. You still have contact with the person that got you into the business? Yes, and um, that person is very apologetic. So Really? All about having led you in that direction. Is exactly, because it, it, it was a mistake on that person's the, part as is well. Is it your husband, own. Tony? Is what it, was that? Is it your husband that got you into the business? No. 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 I'm not going to... Tell anybody's names or who uh, just, was over the radio. Just like a relationship. What uh, was it? A friend? It was a relationship, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, okay. God. Uncle Toucher or? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. no nothing. nothing like that. Well, that, uh, the listeners. I mean, they. You know, they're they're instant feedbacking, and they're assuming that you were touched by an uncle. That's all. Well, no. Touched by an angel. angel. So you were, you were trying to raise money just to kind of make ends meet, and this is the kind of the direction you went to. You're and, absolutely and, right. And you look back at you. I kind of wish I didn't go in that direction. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow, that's uh, that's, that's something. That's See, brilliant. That's the kind of stuff that I wanted to hear. I don't really, you know, care about the implants and how much uh, they they were sold for or anything. It's that that inner story of how you got into well, this that business. Well, that inner thing. story was a a very naive and secure young girl, and yeah. got led into something, and then I finally uh, grew up. I guess came You're into my own, realized stupid. what life is about, and it's not about that business. It's about family and and positive, healthy relationship. Yeah. Of course it is. Is it hard to keep intimacy, like when stuff like that's going on, like when you go to work to come home and have intimacy? It's got to be. It's got to be like a real intimacy blocker, right? I mean, you're talking in the past. Yeah, you know, no, I'm saying like I've, I've talked to people in the business. They say it's hard to be in an intimate relationship when you're going off and having very unintimate like sex, and then you come back home and it's hard to separate the two. Well, I was never going off having sex anywhere. Everybody, yeah. everybody, yeah. get into it, yeah. get stupid, come on. get retarded. Now, do you think that a lot of people, like one of the problems people who ra rail against the adult industry say is that a lot of people are kind of led mm -hmm. in a certain direction and kind of it, it, are misled about what the business is going to be. Did you yeah. find that happen with you? Yes, absolutely. Really? You had this impression that it was going to be one thing and it turned out to be something completely different? A bunch well, of things. Uh, no, actually, it just turned out not to be for me. Are you, um, exploitive. Are, are, you still, are you still a chubby woman uh, these days? Or? Chubby? Thanks, actually. Um... Like when people yeah, want to see you naked at this average. point? Average, yeah. Well, when you get out of the business, I guess, you know, life yeah. goes on. Life does go on. Actually, life began. Oh. Seriously. Yeah. Did it really? You, you got a whole new outlook on uh, on life? I have a wonderful outlook on life. Were you, you, how relieved were you when you finally didn't have to go, like, when you finally moved on and said, let me close the chapter? Well, it's like this. I have no shame. I have no guilt. Right, right, right. There you go. And I why don't. should you? That's right. You shouldn't. No, I shouldn't because what doesn't what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hey, did you make that up? Yeah, I did. That's sure. A good one. Hey. You got that hanging on your wall at home <laughs> <laughs> with yeah, the I cat holding know. on that says "Hang in there, baby." <laughs> <laughs> now it's actually. Um, I mean, it's like, did you have? Were you walking in the sand with like <laughs> two sets of? <laughs> Footprints. footprints, and then also yeah, I love that one too. That no, is nice. no, one then, set of footprints, and sometimes when people perform, they get like a big head. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, and it squirts. I'm sorry, one, I can barely set, hear you. Guys. One right. set of footprints is uh, really nice, like a woman's, and the other is this big fat mess <laughs> of, of feet that are really. Much too wide for shoes. <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Me but uh, that's a, see, it's an inspiring story. 
Write a book. You should write a book. You should write a book. If anybody can go through what I went through and end up how I am, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It's a very inspiring story for people out there who think that they're stuck, that think that they're going to be pigeonholed, yeah. put into something category that that's a book be stuck with for life. It's not true. Have people uh, approached you about a book or a movie about your life? Um, quite a while ago, people were talking to me about it when I um, I, I actually did a lot of talk shows. Yeah. Um, right when I was getting out of the business, I did the Maury Povich show, and I oh, cool. helped Maury. Oh, Maury is what good. Maury is good. Maury, he turned into Jerry Springer. Is he still around? You are not the baby. Let's father. be honest. No, <laughs> ah, you are not the baby's father. Exactly. Prior to the not the baby father day. Let's uh, be honest. No one would read a book about this horse shit. <laughs> no, but I I did some shows with them, and I was helping a lot of young girls who were. Lost on the show. Oh, that's good. Like oh. a, did they have the boot camp guy come out? Yes, it was it was myself yeah, and him. Of course they did. Hey. He was, wow. he was bad cop. I was good cop. The highlight right. of your career was a Maury Povich appearance. That's not bad. Not the <laughs> highlight. It's just part Jesus. of her life. She's helping people out. Uh, you got, you're trying to shake head. Are you trying to steer, <laughs> you trying to steer people away from what you, like the things you think are mistakes that you made? You're trying to just steer them kind of in, out of that direction. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to. Yeah, exactly. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. no, that's I, I find it something inspiring. to be proud of though. After the Progeria Kids segment, they rolled your fat ass out. Feelings, no, nothing try, more than feelings. You goddamn try, and you have to put up with this. That's one for the resume. Ugh. She she hung up again. No, Someone a favor. No, She's right there. Don't hang up. 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 Hang up. Hang up. It's good. I, for one, I'm sorry, and I, I for one, am. Uh, I like the story that you're telling. When you think about it, is inspiring. When you think about those days, are you cool with it, or are you? It's sensitive. Sometimes. I honestly don't think about those days, but if I do, I'm cool with it. Do they you get, you, do they get you downs? No, they don't get no. me down at all. Aroused? No, they don't get me aroused. They're no. just a part of my life that's over. You giggle. They do. Yeah. I yeah, know, anything else? regret the past. They're down to the dumps. Yeah. It's a good memory. Like I said, I memory. don't regret anything. Yeah. I have no shame. I have no guilt. It's awesome. Thank Do you, you miss your boobs? I gotta, Do you miss I got to tell you something. You, you you had huge boobs. I'm on your website, TonyPeaks.com. It's not her website. Oh, Tony. website. Somebody else is exploiting her name now. And you <gasps> Did you um get really big implants so people wouldn't look at your face? No. Very rude. Uh, that's I Opie, by the way, Tawny. And Opie is a, I, I'm going to say it, a son of a bitch to uh, people. Fine. I'm here trying to uh, hold the fort down. To get a little information. I am fascinated with the story. Uh, Thank you. I, I find it inspiring. And someone like Opie really can't appreciate uh, somebody maybe struggling and then uh, emerging from it a better person. And uh, I apologize for that. I think it's a great, fantastic picture. That's actually a very beautiful picture. A stronger, less I like that. Mamoretical. Yeah. I like it. You should learn how to use Photoshop for your family photos and uh, for your, your past <laughs> photos. Anything uh, anything else you're interested in uh, as far as just be, uh, being a mom? Or is there anything else in your life uh, that you're doing? I work in radio and television. You do radio and TV? Well, uh, tell me a little bit about that. What do you do? Um, I, <clears throat> I did tell I worked uh, before I had my daughter. I was working in a news station. No, oh, now. Really? The assignment, working at the assignment desk, and I was also now. running the board for a satellite television on direct TV station, eight hour daily programming. Oh, board up. Yeah, I was doing technical behind the scenes. It's pretty yeah. impressive. You're on the Maury Povich show, and you were an intern. You know how to fix uh, phones <laughs> for the. I was an intern, you're correct, but I also yeah. had a pain job running a board after I was done with my internship. Mm hmm. All right. See? Hey, see? Really doing things. And now, uh. Running a board. She didn't say it was from Home Depot, though, what? did she? Stop. No, she was out of business. Hey. Hold the whole thing together. What was that? Are you, are you, try, are you going to try to sue these guys and get, like, some of the, like, the rights to the photos or at least get some of the website money back? That'd be something. No. no, you're fine with those being out there? Now, being a mother, aren't you concerned that maybe your children will, uh, uh, look on the web and see some of these pictures of you? No, because when they're old enough, I'll have a talk with them about it. Like I said, yeah. oh, I have no shame and I have no guilt. Yeah. It's the bottom line. Yeah. I'm going to be open and honest. I just know, how, I just know how excited some children can get if they see things on the web like that. They can, yeah. You know, all of a sudden they're looking and, you know, they're... Well, hopefully they're not going to be looking at areas like that. There's a parental blocker yeah. that you can put on your computer. Two of them are going oh, like okay. that and one of them's trying to eat the monitor. Do you realize <laughs> that you were known for your big, juicy tits and that's it? Um... 
I don't really care. Yeah, that was a but point that's in it, her life. That was a point in her life. Oh, that was a point in my life where yeah. that's what mattered. I and guess. And she moved beyond it. No longer yeah. that way. She's moved beyond it. It happens. I mean, you, you do something. Sometimes you're young and foolish. I'm sure you, know, you have you, a few skeletons in your closet there, Opie. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hey, he certainly touché, does. Touché, touché, oh, I'm sure there's a few <laughs> big-headed skeletons in his closet. I'm actually, sure there are, and that's fine. Actually, Luckily, many. yours just down <laughs> all over there on the web. Yep, absolutely. She made a couple of decisions that uh, didn't work out the way she wanted, and she she kind of said, right, that's not Tony, bad. Opie should hold that fat tongue of his. Exactly. Tony, you run around with medals around his neck. Tony, I, I like you. You're feisty. You fight back. And you got me with that one. I like her. It's going to hurt all day. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Mwah. Tony, uh, thank you so much for coming back on the phone. And, uh, no worries. I, I think we story. were able to. I think we were able to uh, uh, take lemon and make lemonade out of it because uh, we got a little info and I find your story fascinating and I'd like to learn more about it. I, I, I see a book or a movie. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Definitely a book to start. Yeah. A young girl being enticed into the life of a uh, uh, smut, let's say, uh, having to deal with a disabled child uh, and then uh, emerging from this, a better person with a... a Memoryless. A, a family life and... Uh, I think that's fascinating. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. As long as there's a lot of topless photos in the book. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus. What a, what a boring interview this is. <laughs> Move on. Oh, I, I wouldn't be interested. Uh, I, again, I apologize, Tony, and I find it fascinating. I think it'd be, I honestly think it'd be a very interesting book, and I think that a lot of people mm. who have had decisions that they made in their lives, they kind of wish that they didn't. Like, you know, like Tony Noah went to that clinic and had that taken care of. <laughs> Tony, Tony, no, yeah. no, the first time. Tony, no offense, you're just not my cup of tea. And if if this was my radio show, I, pff, thirty seconds tops with you. Tops. No worries, I agree. Tops, but that's, that's you. That's you. <laughs> you don't find uh, human drama that fascinating, Opie. I, I I tend to, you know, I find it fascinating. Human drama is fascinating. Things like her story, maybe off the top of my head, uh, Scott Peterson. Like that, I, find no, it I wouldn't put those in the same well, category. Well, it's human drama, wouldn't you say? It's but different paths. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. There's human a, interest. Human drama is over now. You know, you know, a guy, it's a guy that had a, a <laughs> had a wife, and uh, you know she was pregnant, and perhaps he, he foresaw some type of disaster and decided, uh, you know, he was going to take care of the problem. Absolutely. And uh, you know that's more that's human a sad, drama. That's a sad story. It certainly is. Absolutely. Uh, he should have definitely made sure he took that hair out of the boat. That silly goose. <laughs> I can't even believe you can poke fun at that. Uh, We're not poking fun at it, but it's just like when you look at someone like a Susan Smith, or as I call her, the problem solver. <laughs> that's uncalled it's for. Actually, it's a fascinating Jimmy, story. Jimmy, Jimmy, uncalled for. Enough. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go. All right, Oh, Tony. great. Thank you. Goodbye. Tony, thank you so much for uh, checking in with us. Goodbye, Tony. All right, you guys have a great day. You, you too. too. Say hi yeah, to the kids. Bobby. And good morning and good afternoon, too. To two. Good morning, good night, good, good afternoon. Good evening, morning. whatever the hell that bye, is. Tony. Okay, All bye. right. Bye-bye, yeah. bye, Tony. See ya. There yeah, goes. Oh. Bye. Tony Peaks. Tony. 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 Yeah? Tony. 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 What? Tony. Why haven't you hung up yet? <laughs> oh, I thought we were off the air. I didn't know if somebody wanted to talk to me after. All right, I'll talk to you later. Tony. Bye. Uh, on the screener, actually, we are off the air. You, you had a good time with the interview. They were just poking a little fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I not feel good about that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta leave. Oh, you got to go? You're just not a good person. <laughs> No. Oh, Photoshop the family photos. No. <laughs> That's the worst thing Not I've ever good. heard said on this show. <laughs> well, your line. That's Not just one good. of your lines. Yeah. No Photoshop the kids. I don't say it to the person.